Hello everyone, thank you for watching um, Elotech tutorials. In this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade your MacBook Pro 3.1 or early 2007 model with an SSD from Samsung. In this case I'm using the 830 series uh, 120 gigabytes. So let's begin. So I'm going to show you uh, how long it how long does it take to boot up and load Final Cut Pro software? So this computer is assessed and is running Mountain Lion 10.8.2 version, which is the latest so far. So as you can see, it's so are two minutes, almost two minutes, and they haven't launched the Final Cut Pro software well I'm just starting now and it's two minutes and 10 seconds so it's taking two minutes and 60 seconds I believe yeah okay so first what we need to do is uh, format the brand new SSD uh, hard drive from Samsung which we're, we're gonna use an external um, enclosure to format it Okay, now you need to go to Applications, uh, Utilities, and click on Disk Utilities. And then you need to select your external hard drive, which in this case is the 128GB Samsung uh, 830 series. And click Erase. Uh, choose the Mac OS Extender Journal, and you can rename it. So in this case, I'm gonna rename it as SSD. Just click Erase and wait a um, few minutes, I believe, or a few seconds. So as you can see on the bottom, so there is another uh, icon with the name of SSD. So if you get this error message, don't worry, just click OK and sign capsule, don't use it. So as you can see the 128 underneath, there is a new icon, the SSD, which is the new format. It's a formatted drive, external SSD drive. So now you can close the windows. So the next step is to clone your old drive or copy everything I'm using in this case the super duper software to clone it and copy everything from my old drive to the new drive. So as you can see there are three bars, uh, the one on the top is green, the, the one in the middle is blue and the one on the bottom is uh, great uh, which in this case um, right now is copying the files so after it finished so you will see three uh, green bars which means everything is done and everything is copied perfectly so now you can eject or you can check the files so everything is copied all the documents and files and users okay so I'm gonna check the two external hard drives and I have I have one for the software the super duper software and the other one the one on my left um, is the one that I clone the new SSD from Samsung so I'm just gonna unplug it and I'm gonna shut down the computer To open it and remove the old hard drive. So okay, so so I'm gonna okay. replace it for a T6 torch. So, so it's hard to focus. So I'm gonna Real open it first. But it's a T6. Okay, this is what I'm gonna use to remove the the two screws. Then they are holding the hard drive. So there is a bracket, uh, aluminum or metal bracket. So 
you need to move the or remove the captum tape then it's attaching the flexible cable okay so now you can remove the second screw So just slowly peel off the double side tape that is holding the flexible cable. Just do it slowly, very careful. That way you don't damage the flexible cable. Okay, now it's off. So now you can pull off the bracket and now you can start pulling out the hard drive from one side so always use some um, plastic tool that way you, if you attach the components you don't damage them so that's what I'm using this plastic tool okay so now you can remove the hard drive So you need to remove the screws that are on the side. So you can see this is an original heat uh, hard drive from Apple. There are two different uh, screws. You can see one and two. And the ones on the other side are different. One, two. So this one has like a rubber thing around the screw. I believe these are to to hold the hard drive in place and avoid noise, like a noise reduction rubber things. to remove them so the four screws them I'm removing right now so I'm gonna use them um, in the new hard drive okay Just make sure that the, the ones with the rubber um, are connected to the right side and the ones without the rubber are on the left side. So I will say then the right side, if um, I point, um, I take in the red uh, square on the hard drive as a reference point. So now you can connect your hard drive, your new SSD drive. So it will be very excited how this thing works. Okay. So now you can. Push it in slowly. So once the hard drive is in place, um, let me push this thing a little bit more just to make sure that it's gonna make a good connection. Okay. So I will use a brand new uh, piece of um, Captain tape. For now, I'm just gonna connect the keyboard and I'm gonna use the power cord just to make sure that the 
hard drive is working and is connected properly. It's a quick test. So if everything is connected and the hard drive is working, so you don't have to reopen the the computer and as you know this is not easy there are too many screws okay so it will take a while I guess okay okay there is the Apple logo which is a good sign I believe then the software is working okay. So it's detecting the software for sure. Okay. okay. It's perfect, it's working. Okay, so I believe it's faster. So next step is to close the computer, which I'm gonna speed up the video. Because I believe that you know already how to, where the screws are and where to, they will. So this little, Two scrolls are the most difficult uh, ones, I believe. So, which I recommend to use a magnet uh, screwdriver. Okay, so we almost finished. So this is our last test. So this is a comparison test. How long it, does it take to boot up? So as you can see the, the new SSD from Samsung is almost like um, one minute faster than the old one. Good. So thank you for watching.